Hold on to your wallets, BC drivers. As Attorney General David Eby just finished saying, we are in a fiscal dumpster fire with ICBC. They are bleeding a billion dollars. A billion. That is a ghastly amount of money for a Crown Corporation to be losing. This is not sustainable. We can't afford this. We need some change. We understand that some folks like the idea of public insurance. They like the idea of collective insurance. So we at the Canadian Taxpayers Federation think that we have a Goldilocks solution. Take ICBC, mutualize it, turn it into a co-op so that it's similar to a credit union like Van City or Mountain Equipment Co-op for a store. That way it's owned by BC drivers who choose it. It also takes politicians out of the mix. If it's owned by BC drivers who choose it as a true co-op, politicians would no longer be able to reach their hands into those coffers and scoop money out to paper over their budget deficits. And then next to that new co-op, open it up to competition. BC drivers want choice. We want an option. Right now, we pay the highest auto insurance rates in all of Canada for our mandatory insurance. And we have no choice. We have no other option other than this government-controlled monopoly. And the risk of paying $400 more every single year is something that we just can't take. Our cost of living is already through the roof. We already pay the highest gas prices in all of North America in Metro Vancouver, and it's not fair to be locked in to these sky-high prices. We agree with David Eby that this needs fundamental change. We also agree with Green Party leader Dr. Andrew Weaver, who said competition should be on the table. Absolutely. So let's change ICBC into a co-op, let's open it up for competition, and let's get some choice for BC drivers so they can shop around for their own rates. If this matters to you, go to our website and sign our petition, taxpayer.com. Send a message to the Premier of British Columbia. Stand up and be heard.